Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and before we get going anywhere, just remember to go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell and all that stuff. And uh, we're gonna get rocking and rolling here with a story that's hot off the presses, and that is that NGC, the parent company of NGC, I shall say, Certified Collectibles Group, is being bought out by a rather large investment firm known as Blackstone. Blackstone Tactical Operations to acquire the Certified Collectibles Group, a leading provider of tech-enabled authentication, grading, and conservation services for the global collectibles industry. Now, first of all, I find it fascinating that they uh, they, they go back to this tech-enabled quite a bit um, throughout the article. And uh, so, clearly, clearly uh, this is an ongoing theme between the battle between PCGS and NGC and that is the tech race. And, uh, you know, NGC seems to be a little behind PCGS with uh, some of their tech race stuff. Uh, PCGS, I think, has had a better handle on creating things like the NFC chip for anti-counterfeiting and has also, I think, their, uh, certain things about their website are more slick. People use CoinFAQs, which is a PCGS, you know, website to, to understand more about coins. I think if I had to guess, I'd guess that PCGS is winning on all of those fronts when it comes to the technology. Now, this buyout's interesting because this comes on something like a uh, six or nine months ago, uh, PCGS announced that uh, the parent company of PCGS was being bought out by a, uh, a investment, um, investment group, which was not like Blackstone. This was mostly an individual person with a lot of other sub-investors. And uh, that PCGS has PSA, which is the biggest uh, card, uh, sport card collectible group and uh, certification group. So, so that individual was really definitely looking for the PSA. So there was concerns about whether or not PCGS would uh, come around and how it would it would work out. Uh, and we'll see. But it's interesting that P, uh, PCGS sold, and here. NGC is selling, and uh, if I can just talk about a little bit the concept of selling your baby. So if you're an uh, if you create something in the business world, if you listen to a lot of business podcasts and books, people talk about well, you start this little company, you grow it to big enough size, and then all of a sudden you sell it for five X what the profits are per year and you, you know, you make your big money and then you go do something else. It sounds really great when all you look at is dollars and cents, but if you put uh, your blood, sweat and tears into building something, the concept of being able to sell it to somebody else is very trying. Cause I think about that here, you know, what would it be like to sell the company? How could I, how would I, and it's very trying. So one of the things I do when I try to think about some of these issues that go on is kind of go ahead and put yourself in the situation and try to unravel a little bit. Now, uh, the CEOs of NGC and PCGS, um, Mark uh, Salzberg and Stephen R. Eichenbaum, uh, those guys are still going to retain a minority stake. So they're still going to be involved, it sounds like, uh, on, a, on a day to day basis. And um, they've already guided NGC and the Certified Collectibles Group this far. I will say when you get an investment firm to come in, lots of times you're starting to bring in people who have an expertise in some of the different technical business and technology areas that you maybe are lacking in. And so you see this with lots of startups that eventually they need outside help because it's cool and all that you can make this fun little business and grow it and you get there kind of organically but in the way uh, in the process you oftentimes end up with a little bit of a mess right so you've done a lot of things that probably weren't great and some things that probably need to be undone and so having a group come in from the outside can really be helpful so there's a chance here that you're going to see some improvements at NGC that uh, hopefully will be really good for all of us. Uh, let's see here. We've got the investment group. Uh, also, the investment group includes Rock Nation, Michael Rubin, founder and executive chairman of Fanat Fanatics. 
Fanatics SC Holdings, a growth, uh, a growth equity platform mastery founded by Rudy Klein Thomas, Andre Iguodala, Daryl Morey, the president of basketball operations at the Philadelphia 76ers and Main Street Advisors, uh, a leading investment advisory firm to prominent athletes, recording artists, and other leaders across entertainment and business. So what's fascinating about this is uh, the people who are mentioned there, you got two sports people. One was the owner of the 76ers or the president of basketball operations. And the other one's Andre Iguodala. Now, this is cool to me because, you know, I'm in Tucson, and for those of you who don't follow basketball, Andre Iguodala was a University of Arizona basketball player before he ended up playing a little bit with AI in, in uh, Philly. And then, you know, he's gone on to get, uh, I think he got a ring a couple of years ago at uh, Golden State. So, uh, but it's really interesting to me to see athletes that move on into other investments and guys that know, hey, um, I need to have my money working for me and not just sitting around and having, you know, people helping me. It's, it's a, I, I, it encourages me whenever I see an athlete doing something business related because they're thinking outside of just the, you know, the box that society tries to put them in, shall we say. All right, so Blackstone is to seek to accelerate CCG's growth, enabling the company to invest significantly in its current and planned services, adding and adding and training new employees, expanding its geographic and product reach, acquiring new technologies and developing its digital presence. Blackstone is one of the world's leading investment firms with nearly 650 billion in assets under management. So uh, this is really interesting. They've got uh, you know a, a little statement on some of the stuff they hope to do, once again, increasing your technology and moving forward. By the way, this article from Business Wire is telling us this is um, the transaction valuing the company at more than 500 million. So uh, it was a big payday, I think, for the two guys on top, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. What does it mean for you and I as uh, people who rely on NGC and their services? Well, hopefully what it means is that if you have a company that comes in that's very professional from the outside and can help NGC improve its customer service, it's turnaround time, things, you know, generally, I know everyone looks at things as a money grab, but if you can do things that's better for the customer and the consumer, you will actually do things that's better for your bottom line. So hopefully we'll see some of that. Uh, the training part, this is where it gets a little bit funny because, you know, hopefully they can actually train uh, a lot of people in a way that is, you know, somewhat consistent. Um, so... Blackstone, guys, what's going to happen next? You guys and you crystal ball, you can come come, come on down. Go ahead. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think is going to happen here with Blackstone and NGC. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.